In this example from section 14.6, we want to sketch and rewrite the integral. We have the integral from 0 to 3 of the integral from 0 to the square root of 9 minus x squared. Then the integral from 0 to 6 minus x minus y, dz, dy, dx. And we want to rewrite the integral so that we have a triple integral for the solid region Q. And the order of the differentials is dz, dx, dy. So the inside bounds are going to be the same because the differential dz appears first in both of them. And we want to look at changing the dx and the dy. Let's begin by sketching the, the solid region Q, where the lower bound for z is z equals 0, and the upper bound for z is z equals 6 minus x minus y. And um, that is the equation of a plane. So we have the... The 3D graph, which is the equation of the plane where the x-intercept um, is 6, the y-intercept is 6, and the z-intercept is 6 as well. So when you sketch that plane, you can sketch a portion of the plane here. So the bottom z is the z equals 0, which is the xy plane. The top of the solid region is this plane z equals 6 minus x minus y. And then in terms of your y and x, your bounds for y, your lower bound for y is y equals 0, and your upper bound for y is y equals the square root of 9 minus x squared. And then your lower bound for x is x equals 0, your upper bound for x is x equals 3. Now if you want to sketch this base region, the region in two dimensions, we know that y equals 0 is the x-axis, x equals 0 is the y-axis, x equals 3, and the equation y equals nine, the square root of 9 minus x squared, if we rewrite it by squaring both sides, we get y squared is equal to 9 minus x squared, and rewrite it to get x squared plus y squared is equal to 9. That's the equation of a circle, the radius of the 3. One, two, three. Okay, so we have the circle, and we want to find the region that is bounded by the bottom of y equals 0. So that's going to be down here. The top is y equals um, this portion. Here, the left is x equals 0 and the right is x equals 3. So we are looking at this region here. And that's going to correspond to a region here. And if we sketch kind of vertical lines there, we can see that the, we want to, this triple integral would actually give us the volume of that region that's below the plane z equals 6 minus x minus y above the xy plane and within that cylinder. So we can rewrite the integral in terms of uh, the differential orders dz, dx, dy instead of dz, dy, dx. Now when the order is dy, dx, the representative rectangle would, would have been a vertical rectangle. To switch the order of the differentials, we want to sketch a horizontal rectangle. So that little width there is your dy, and the big width there is your dx. So our differential area is going to be dy dx. Let's determine the bounds of integration. Um, the new bounds for z, it's going to be the same because the differential z has not switched at all. Let's look at our bounds for x. Our left x of that representative rectangle is x equals 0. The right x of that representative rectangle is what x equals on the circle. So if you take this equation for the circle, x squared plus y squared equals 9, subtract y squared and solve for x, you'll get x is equal to the square root of 9 minus y squared. And that's going to be the right bound, or the upper bound for y. And your bounds for y slide that rectangle to the bottom, you get the lower bound for y equals 0, slide that to the top, that upper bound for y is equal to 3. So our iterated integral 
we switch the order to dz, dx, dy, our bounds for z don't change. They still go from 0 to 6 minus x minus y. And our bounds for x would go from 0 to the square root of 9 minus y squared. And our bounds for y would go from 0 to 3. So that would be our uh, the integral where we can rewrite the integral by changing the order of the differentials and adjusting the bounds.